Hello dear friends. In this part, you will learn sentences with pronunciation and a little grammar. This will help you to speak and write simple English easily. Before you begin, review what you have learned. You can also refer to a word book or a dictionary to know the meaning of words. Most of all, practice what you have learnt. We will now look at some parts of speech. We hope you have been able to learn how to speak simple English. Remember, practice makes a man perfect. Keep reviewing the material and practicing the sentences. You have learnt words and sentences. You now know about nouns, number, gender and pronouns. We shall look at verbs, adverbs and adjectives in this CD. Hi friends! Learning to speak and write in English is quite challenging, especially for those who are non-native English speakers. Even native speakers can have some difficulties in learning to write English. This is because the language consists of a large number of grammatical rules, which is very challenging to learn. But you don't worry, we are here to help you. Please welcome Miss Mansi, your English teacher. Hi Mansi. Hi. Hello friends. Mansi will be with you throughout the course to guide you. Mansi, won't you say something? Well, I'll only say, don't worry. Grammar is easy if you go step by step. This is completely a flexible course. You can study it anytime at your pace. And yes, one of the most important tools we've used is grammar exercises. Grammar exercises are very essential in learning English. Mansi, why don't we start with the subject? Oh, my pleasure. So friends, best of luck and happy learning. Nouns. We are going to look at nouns first. We use naming words in sentences. Naming words are names of persons, places, animals or things. These are called nouns. We can see the sun, the moon and the stars in the sky. In this sentence, the sun, the moon and the stars are nouns. A banana and an apple are on the table. In this sentence, a banana and an apple are nouns. Give the coat to the boy by the table. In this sentence, the coat the boy and the table are nouns. Listen and repeat these sentences and pick out the nouns. My dog is called Spot. Dog Spot
the school is by the church school church Have you got a notebook and a pencil? Notebook, pencil. The weather is hot. Take an umbrella. Weather, umbrella. Peter lives in England. Peter England The grapes are sour but the oranges are sweet. Grapes, oranges. The man and woman bought meat and potatoes. Man, woman, meat, potatoes. Can you see the stars in the sky? Stars, sky. One and one makes two. One, two. Here are some sentences you can use in speech. Pick out the nouns. Hello, my name is Peter and I live in England. Hello, I'm Inga. I come from Germany. This is Kato. He's from Zambia. And that is Lano. She's his sister. Zambia is in Africa. It is a large continent. We live in a small village. It's a beautiful village. 
Our house is big. We have many trees around our house. We also grow flowers and vegetables in our garden. I live in a city in England. My house is modern. There isn't a garden, but we buy flowers from the florist. The nouns in the sentences are Peter, England, Inga, Germany, Kato, Zambia, Lano, Sister, Africa, Continent, Village, House, Trees, Flowers, Vegetables, Garden, City, Florist. Let us now look at proper nouns. Proper nouns are special naming words. They are special names given to special persons, places and things. Proper nouns always begin with a capital letter. For example, Mr. Garcia, New York, Thames, Listen to the sentences as they are read and mark the proper nouns. What kind of a car does your Aunt Mary drive? In this sentence, Mary is the proper noun. John and Sarah live in a brick house on Park Street. In this sentence, John, Sarah, and Park Street are proper nouns. Lake Kivu is a large lake in East Africa.
In this sentence, Lake Kivu and Africa are proper nouns. For practice. Write a proper noun for each noun below. Don't forget the capital letter. Example Girls Susan and Sarah A park Lake District National Park A school City Road Primary School A teacher Miss Catherine Children Amanda, Belinda and Beryl A television show Dora and Bougie Remember all nouns name people places and things A proper noun names a particular person, place or thing and begins with a capital letter. Merlin visited New York on the 4th of July. In this statement, Merlin, New York and July are proper nouns. Replace the underlined part with proper nouns. Don't forget to begin each proper noun with a capital letter. The children traded football posters and talked about the players. Lara and Susan traded football posters and talked about the players. The family visited a national park on their vacation. The family visited a national park on their vacation.
the teacher put a game on the table for free time. The teacher put a game on the table for free time. The explorers crossed the ocean and finally reached a new land. The explorers crossed the ocean and finally reached a new land. The books belong to my friend. The books belong to my friend. Common nouns. The names of things we see around us are called common nouns. These words begin with a small letter. Car Tree Boxes Jam Light Glass Sky Water Read these sentences and say whether the underlined nouns are proper nouns or common nouns. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. It went with her to school one day. The pupils laughed out loudly. In the above passage, Mary is a proper noun. Lamb, fleece, school, day, pupils are common nouns. Sue and Benji sat in the garden. The flying planes made a lot of noise. It disturbed the children. They could not do their lessons. So they took their books and went inside. Here, Sue, Benji are proper nouns. Garden, planes, noise, children are common nouns. The cherry tree is in a big garden. The birds came to eat the cherries. The red fruit was delicious.
here cherry tree garden birds cherries fruit are common nouns find the common nouns hidden in this word box you can take about 5 minutes to do this exercise
you should have found these words collective nouns some things are always known as a group such words are called collective nouns a group of soldiers army a group of birds flock a group of trees orchard a group of people crowd read the sentences and say which are the collective nouns Susan ate a bunch of grapes. Bunch. Napoleon had a large army. army There is a lot of furniture in the palace furniture Sindbad brought the fleet of ships to the shore fleet a swarm of bees flew into the garden swarm Peter gave Sue a bouquet of flowers bouquet There is a small pool under the cluster of trees cluster bring me that pile of books pile put a tape around that sheaf of papers sheaf The mayor arrived with a convoy of cars. Convoy. The orchestra had a number of musical instruments.
orchestra. A group of children were playing there. Group. Read the following and classify the nouns. Pam and Joan went to the town hall to see the show. A famous musical band was going to perform there. There were groups of people standing outside to buy tickets to go inside. There were men, women and children. They were dressed in colorful clothes. When the bell rang, the people formed a queue. Soon everyone was inside the hall. The show began. The music was wonderful. The audience enjoyed the show. Pam, Joan are proper nouns. Town hall, show, people, tickets, men, women, children, clothes, bell, queue, Hall, show, music are common nouns. Band, groups, audience are collective nouns. Singular and plural. Some nouns name one person, place or thing and are singular. Example, house, school, toy. Some nouns name more than one person, place or thing and are plural. Example, houses, schools, toys. Read these nouns that name one thing. Tree River Flower Boat Pencil Store Rose Cracker Duck Dog Book Add an S to each word to make it name more than one. Trees, rivers, flowers, 
boats, pencils, stores, roses, crackers, ducks, dogs, books, Most plural nouns end in S, but some nouns form their plurals differently. Let us look at some of them. I will read the singular noun followed by its plural. Child, children. Woman, women, man, men, foot, feet, ox, oxen. Tooth, teeth, mouse, mice, goose, geese, sheep, sheep. Fish, fish, deer, deer, change each singular noun in the sentences below to plural form. You will hear an example. All the man and woman came to the meeting at the town hall. Here, man and woman are in the singular and have to be changed to the plural. Now listen to the correct sentence. All the men and women came to the meeting at the town hall. Do the same for all the other sentences. The cats on the farm Love to eat dash and dash. The cats on the farm love to eat mice and fish. Before the storm, the farmer herded all the dash and dash into the animal shelter. Before the storm, the farmer herded all the geese and oxen into the animal shelter. At bedtime, the children washed their dash and brush their dash. At bedtime, the children washed their feet and brushed their teeth.
the children often saw groups of wild dash and dash in the forest the children often saw groups of wild sheep and deer in the forest the green dash dry up in the autumn season the green leaves dry up in the autumn season gender we will now look at gender all things belonging to the female group is in the feminine gender example girl mother lady cow me all things belonging to the male group is in the masculine gender example boy father gentleman bull horse all things belonging to male as well as female groups are in the common gender example teacher doctor children parent friend pupil thief relative all things that do not have life are in the neuter gender example table chair paper pen glass tree dress computer classify the following according to gender you can take the help of a word book or dictionary doll dog baby man kite lace tree jam child leaves 
cat person dear song sun nut girl cup queen duck father lion heroine speaker student room tomcat drake lioness i'm now going to read out all the masculine nouns dog man tom cat Drake Father Lion the feminine nouns dear girl queen duck heroine Linus Common gender Baby child person speaker student cat neuter gender
doll kite lace tree jam leaves song sun nut cup room we are going to look at pronouns now nouns are words that take the place of nouns example jerry gave the plums to jane she gave them to me in the above sentence jane is replaced by she and the plums is replaced by them she and them are pronouns i shall read pairs of sentences the first will have nouns and the second will have pronouns number 1 the waves sparkled brightly they sparkled brightly in this sentence waves is replaced by they they is a pronoun number 2 peter and i finished the work quickly we finished it quickly in this sentence peter and i is replaced by the word we and work is replaced by the word it we and it are pronouns Number 3 Diana likes to play outside She likes to play outside Number 4 Later the men went for a walk Later they went for a walk Some pronouns take the place of nouns in the subject part of the sentence Jane won the race She 
won the race. The subject pronoun usually comes before the action in the sentence. Change the underlined noun into a pronoun using the words in the box. I shall read the words in the box. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Number one, Anna may take the cat home today. The answer, she may take the cat home today. She replaces the underlined word Anna. Number two, May and I had chicken and potatoes for dinner. The dinner was delicious. We had chicken and potatoes for dinner. It was delicious. Number three. Mr. D'Souza walked down the street. He walked down the street. Number four. Roma and I are going to baby's party. Answer. We are going to baby's party. Number five. Rita ran to the park to meet her friends. She ran to the park to meet her friends. Some pronouns take the place of nouns that come after an action word. The teacher read the class a story. The teacher read them a story. The object pronoun usually comes after the action word in the sentence. Change each underlined noun into a pronoun using the words in the box. I shall read out the words in the box. Me, you, him, her, it, 
us them please pass the potatoes the word potatoes is underlined so the answer is please pass them Rodi invited Jane to home with him today. Rodi invited her home with him today. The zoo ranger won't let us feed the wild animals. The zoo ranger won't let us feed them. Dad gives the map to mom when we travel. Dad gives it to mom. when we travel use each of these pronouns in a sentence us them her pronouns are used in the place of the subject i you she he it we they to show ownership my mine your yours his hers our ours their theirs to receive the action of the action word me you her him us them underline the pronouns in the sentences below pronouns in the subject Aaron and I went to the mall at the corner I Number 2 We bought some jazzy shorts We Aaron and I asked for a new clock he i pronouns used to show ownership number 1 the students performed their play at 2 o'clock there
Number two, the dog wagged its tail when the girls came home. It's Number three, we spent our summer vacation at Switzerland. We. Pronouns used to receive action. Number one, mom took Susan and me to the mall. Me. She bought us ice cream cones. Us. Number three. Mom gave me a bandage for my hand. me replace the underlined nouns with the correct pronouns number 1 the class heard a good story today they heard a good story today the smith family sent their friends postcards they sent their friends postcards please give sue and benji a glass of milk please give them a glass of milk please take shane and me to the park please take us to the park it hurt when the doctor gave shane a shot it hurt when he gave him a shot their family sent the smith family a postcard their family sent them a postcard jane's homework is in the drawer Her homework is in the drawer. The family's car had a flat tire. Their car had a flat tire. The horse's stall was empty. It was empty. The boy's shirt was hanging on the line.
His shirt was hanging on the line. Add pronouns to complete this passage. Leroy and Dash are best friends. Dash loved to play outdoors. Football is Dash favorite game. Dash relaxes the mind and strengthens the body. Dash play the goalkeeper while Leroy plays centre forward. Dash can kick the ball across the field. Dash friends always cheer. Dash when we play. Dash never miss a match. Dash join the cheerleaders. After the match is over, Dash go to the school hall to celebrate Dash. The headmaster congratulates Dash and says that Dash is happy with Dash. The next day is a holiday. Leroy and I are best friends. We love to play outdoors. Football is our favorite game. It relaxes the mind and strengthens the body. I play the goalkeeper while Leroy plays center forward. He can kick the ball across the field. Our friends always cheer us when we play. They never miss a match. They join the cheerleaders. After the match is over, we go to the school hall to celebrate it, the headmaster congratulates us and says that he is happy with us. The next day is a holiday. Here are some words for you to pronounce and practice. You can look into a word book or a dictionary for their meanings. Camera Child Country Daughter Dictionary Doctor Envelope Evening
first flat have house international job key learn letter live magazine map Married South Stamp Student suitcase surname teacher ticket address beautiful cheese difficult drink easy expensive friendly ham horrible lovely nephew nice niece sandwich understand wrong
अराइव बिकॉज कैच certainly cost fortunately hairdresser hospital interpreter journalist journey leave mechanic mend receptionist tried tired wine wine dine din den ten bad ad shade borrow arrow narrow oath mouth south
get bet jet kite sight tight beach search rich bring sing ming test best just love glove blow cook look book merchant shame name